Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm a little tired. Tired? Because I'm in chief morning. Oh, you have your chief in the morning? Chief in the morning. But uh, you're going to rest tomorrow? Mm, no. Uh, I will work in the chief after. The afternoon. In the afternoon shift, okay. And you work in a restaurant or something like that? Uh, I work in, in ¿cómo se dice? Empresa. In a company? In a company, yes. Yeah. Uh, as a quality control. Oh, okay. Is it like a... Um... They check check the check the product. Ah, in okay. The, the plant. Mm, yeah, that must be heavy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but tomorrow you will rest, or it's Sunday or Saturday. And Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, uh, I will work in the chief afternoon. Ah, all right. <laughs> Heavy. I I will rest in the in the Wednesday. Oh, until Wednesday. Until. Only one day. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. That's really heavy. And the rest of you, Francisco, how are you doing? How was your day, Francisco? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, uh, my day, <laughs> my day was uh, very fun. <laughs> Funny. Yes. Um, Why? Uh, um, with my family, uh, we go to a restaurant. Okay, you went to a restaurant. Yes, and it's a good day. <laughs> oh, you have fun with your family. Yes. You were laughing together, <laughs> telling jokes, diciendo chistes, sí. <laughs> and remembering merry, funny things. That's the best therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, so, so from time to time, I visit my sister. And yes, we remember old memories when we were teenagers and we laughed a lot. <laughs> That's good. After a very heavy day, I said, I'm going to visit my sister and she lives like two blocks um, near my house. So, yes, it's the best therapy. And Andrea, how was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? To, uh, fine. And your uh, day? How was your day? A little bit busy but a normal day okay nice you rest on a weekend and uh, no the have Saturday I have I I work all day and Sunday uh, perdón, perdón. están peleando los perritos <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard that weird noise. No sé, what is that? <laughs> bueno, el domingo I work este, until 12. Noon. Uh -huh. Noon. Ah, okay. Well, I hope that you rest Tom day. So um going to share my screen i just have four here it's like usually on friday people uh take the day off but <laughs> we need to continue with the program so um let's see uh yesterday we were discussing about how to express future you remember we were discussing on how to express future in um in English, and we can do it by using the auxiliary will. Uh, we also uh, can do it with the 
present continuous, meaning that would be plus ing, and also would be going to. So what is the difference? Uh, or how can we use it? will to express future? We said that it is for general fact, timetable, setting, uh, setting intention, promise, real condition, etc. And we have a couple of examples here. It says, it will be Wednesday tomorrow. Entonces, el, el, el will se puede utilizar para expresar también hechos en el futuro. Y tenemos, eh, ese es el que dice general fact. Eh, es un hecho como que digamos, mañana será sábado. It will be Saturday tomorrow. Entonces, si vamos a expresar eh, un, 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 un dato en general, cierto, se usa will. Ok, para uh, datos en general que son ciertos en el futuro, se usa will. Um, she will have a baby next month. Like, yes, hay una probabilidad, ¿verdad? Con los bebés es muy difícil, a menos que fuera una cesárea programada, tal vez. Pero yes, uh, there, there is the example. The phone is ringing. Ese sería una um, uh, sudden intention, algo que sucede de, de pronto, algo repentino. Eh, es como lo que les decía ayer, el teléfono suena, entonces usted decide de repente, espontáneamente ir a contestar. I'll go and answer it. And it says, let's shop. I think I'll buy a newspaper in this shop. Okay. Like intenciones también del momento, ¿verdad? Quizás yo compraré tal cosa, pero si tiene una intención en el momento. Spontaneous decision. So you use will for that. Eh, otra para eh, algo espontáneo, preguntarle qué vas a, con qué vas a acompañar la carne. What will you have um, with the meat? Potatoes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, eh, lo otro decíamos que era con el present continuous. Normalmente el present continuous o present progressive es para acciones que están sucediendo en el momento, ¿verdad? Estamos, we are having classes, you are listening, you are paying attention. Eso es lo que está sucediendo ahorita. Ese es el presente continuo. Pero también lo podemos utilizar para expresar futuro. Si es así, le vamos a agregar una expresión de tiempo. Eh, como vemos acá en los ejemplos, Dora is traveling to London tomorrow. Okay, ahí está la expresión que nos indica que no, no está viajando ahorita, sino que lo hará mañana. Okay. Y esto se compone siempre de una forma del verbo to be. O sea, am, um, is, are. Aquí está is. Le estamos hablando de Dora. Luego el verbo principal que será travel. Y le agregamos ing. Dra uh, Dora is traveling to London tomorrow. We are leaving for the country next week. Ahí está la expresión de tiempo para la próxima semana. She's seeing the doctor this afternoon. Esta tarde. We are, where are we going tonight? Are we coming to see us tomorrow? Okay. And so on. Now, can be going to, decíamos si se puede hacer con be going to, si era am, um, is, are, going to, y el verbo en su forma simple, eh, para intenciones, planes, algo más eh, detallado, un plan con más eh, predeterminación, prediction, likeliness. Okay. Eh, I'm going to make fish shoot tomorrow. So that's un, un plan. Eh, ¿Qué vamos a comer? Ya, eso es un plan. Está planeando hacer una sopa de pescado. So I'm going to make fish soup tomorrow. I already bought the fish. I'm going to leave on the six o'clock train. I just bought my ticket. Mm -hmm. It's an intention also. Look at her belly. She's going to have a baby. Predictions. Cuando hay un hecho, ¿verdad? Ahí la predicción es que va a tener un bebé porque le dice, mira su panza. Look at her belly. She's going to have a baby. I'm not going to answer the phone anymore. ¿Ok? No tiene ganas de contestar el teléfono. Eso es likeliness. Um, 
What are you going to do with that X in your hand? Preguntándole cuáles son las intenciones. ¿Qué vas a hacer con esa H en tus manos? Yeah, so that's intention. Um, we're going to make a big party for Dora's birthday. That is a plan. Okay. Um, we're going to make a big party. That, ya lo leí. Look at those clouds. It's going to rain. Now, making a prediction based on facts. Haciendo eh, predicciones basadas en hechos. Entonces, eh, se usa going to en esos casos. Que era lo que ya habíamos eh, explicado ayer. Pero pues ahora se los incluí aquí en esta diapositiva. Y vamos a hacer los ejercicios. Aquí, so, in future tense, eh, tenemos tres enlaces. En los tres enlaces eh, está la práctica del futuro eh, de estas tres maneras, con will, uh, be going to y present progressive. Entonces ustedes van a decidir cuál van a usar. Eh, la mayoría son de multiple choice y lo vamos a hacer en grupo. Ahorita solo vemos 11 personas. Voy a ir uniendo a los demás a medida que se vayan um, uniendo al grupo. De igual manera, al terminar el tiempo para esta actividad, voy a pasar lista esperando que ya hayan más personas en la meeting. Eh, sé que viernes ha estado lloviendo mucho. Me imagino que um, algunos tal vez están todavía en tráfico. So, vamos a empezar nosotros. Así que vamos a hacerlo en grupos. Ahí tienen los enlaces en el PowerPoint. Y antes que nada, le voy a habilitar para que compartan pantalla, porque a veces me olvida, casi siempre. I think it's like three rooms. There we go.
Hi, how was the exercise? Teacher, it's so embarrassing. Why? <laughs> no, teacher, I think it was very easy, but no. <laughs> was not easy? No. And the rest of you, what do you think? Wasn't it easy? It wasn't easy for us. <laughs> Uh -huh, because uh, yeah, sometimes you have to think is it the present continuous or it has to be with going to or that will work with will. <laughs> and to be honest, um, so you can use will or going to either or it's okay. It, it can be flexible, but um, present continuous, yes, you need the time expression for that. So it's nothing to be worried about. So. In my defense teacher, I wasn't in the yesterday class. So I have to hear the recording. So, and then I have to learn something. Mm -hmm. And the rest of you? Ah, uh, you hear the explanation yesterday and también lo expliqué al principio de la clase otra vez, but yes. So no worries because um, el presente, eh, el pre perdón, el futuro a veces, bueno, los ejercicios a veces están diseñados para eh, una sola respuesta. Claro, siempre va a haber un eh, un, una inclinación, por ejemplo, que es lo correcto. Eh, en tal situación sería mejor utilizar eh, be going to, por ejemplo, pero si usted usa will también es ok, porque depende cuál era la intención eh, del, de la persona que está dando el mensaje, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso depende mucho. Eh, más que todo, por ¿no? ejemplo, the going to, ok, solo como para entender, el will y el going to, uh -huh. el will, yo sé que es futuro, uh -huh. pero qué tan futuro. ¿Será eh, que por ahí va la diferencia? Eh, sí, ambos son futuro y se usan, vaya, como les explicaba ayer y también ahora lo expliqué también al principio de la clase, will y going to, ambos se pueden utilizar para hacer predicciones. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que yo voy a usar will cuando yo haga una eh, predicción sin eh, mayores elementos que me indiquen que eso va a ser realidad. ¿Ok? So, como hacer una predicción así a random, ¿verdad? Y voy a utilizar going to cuando mi predicción sea en base a, a hechos, ¿verdad? Les di el ejemplo ayer, por ejemplo, yo podría decirle a alguien, um, a cualquier persona, alguien que se le está cayendo el pelo ya de la angustia porque tiene un examen y yo no hay cómo calmarlo. Entonces yo le digo, ok, no worries, you will pass the exam. It's easy, you will pass. Ok, le estoy haciendo una predicción diciendo, sí lo vas a pasar, pero, lo, lo, pero solo por calmarlo. Pero si yo he visto que esta persona se ha esmerado, ha estudiado, comprendía, se, entonces le puedo decir, you are going to pass the exam. Ok, porque tengo eh, ciertos hechos que me dicen, sí lo va a pasar porque sí estudió. Ok, entonces en, cuando una predicción es basada en hechos, o se usa going to, pero si solo voy a hacer la predicción porque sí, porque de repente, entonces uso will. Ok, ese es. Y con el, el going to no va, el, o sea, el verbo va simple. Va simple, ok, sí va simple. Ok. Uh -huh. Good evening, Igual con will, good evening. Igual con will, el verbo va simple. Con el único que se altera es cuando uso el presente continuo, ¿ok? Yeah. ¿Y cuál es la diferencia? Si yo uso el... Permítanme, voy a silenciar. Eh... Ok, la diferencia es utilizando presente continuo. El presente continuo se utiliza para un futuro cercano. Ok, y para que se haga una diferencia, ok, el presente continuo tenemos entendido que es para hablar de cosas que están sucediendo en el momento, como por ejemplo ahorita decir we are having a class. 
we are studying, we are paying attention, son acciones que están en progreso en este momento. Entonces, okay. para esto utilizamos el be, el verbo be, am, is, are, más el verbo principal y le agregamos ing. Esa es la estructura. Eh, pero cuando lo utilizamos para futuro, es lo que les decía acá, cuando es utilizado para futuro, acá tenemos B plus ING, en este es el presente continuo para expresar futuro. Cuando ese sea el caso, vamos a utilizar una expresión de tiempo, como decir tomorrow, y les explicaba aquí, Dora is traveling to London. No lo está haciendo ahorita, lo hará mañana. Ok. Dora is traveling to London tomorrow. Ok. She's seeing the doctor. No está viendo al doctor ahorita. Lo va a ver esta tarde. Más tardecito este día. Ok. Entonces el presente continuo se puede utilizar para expresar un futuro cercano. No vamos a utilizarlo para hablar de algo que va a pasar el próximo año, sino que es o lo más cercano. Esta tarde, más noche, mañana, la próxima semana, el próximo mes, a lo mucho. Entonces, para un futuro cercano se puede utilizar el presente continuo. Cercano y certero, dicho. Ajá, para planes, para, para cosas planeadas o digamos ya agendadas. Uh -huh. Exacto. Y la diferencia con will y be going to, decíamos, en este, en el presente continuo, que es el que tenemos acá, es en el único que el verbo se va a utilizar con ing. De ahí en will y en going to, el verbo va normal. Ok, aquí el auxiliar es will y el verbo no se altera. It will be Wednesday tomorrow. Eh, para expresar eh, general facts como hechos en generales, en futuro se puede usar will, como decir, mañana será sábado, eso es un hecho. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Okay. Eh, intenciones repentinas, como lo que les explicaba ayer, de repente suena el teléfono y digo, yo iré a contestar. Eso es una decisión repentina, espontánea, entonces se usa will. Okay. Eh, Andrea, levanta la manita. Tiche, ya que dice eso, fíjese de que había en la... En la... ¿Cómo es? La oración número 6 dice, don't worry, I, I the windows for you. Y, es, y nosotros le pusimos que era, I'm going to open. ¿Y Pero le salió buena? No, salió mala. Entonces, Ajá. entonces esa es la explicación de que es will open, porque la tomamos así. Ajá, espontánea en el momento, es una decisión ah. espontánea. Y lo que les explicaba ayer, ¿se acuerda que les dije? Si alguien ve, usted ve que la persona viene cargada con bolsas, de, de viene de comprar y usted decide en el momento, te voy a ayudar. I will help you. Ok. So, uh -huh. para decisiones así en el momento, voy a contestar el teléfono, yo abriré la puerta, yo cerraré la ventana. Eh, well, esas decisiones uh, momentáneas, you. levantamos la manita para hablar, ¿verdad? Para decisiones momentáneas, sí, se usa will. Diga, Juan. Siempre que va uno, digamos, en ese ejemplo que acaba de dar. O cuando alguien le dice a un compañero, te voy a ayudar a cargar. Siempre vamos a utilizar ese verbo. Se utiliza el auxiliar will más el verbo de la acción en el simple, el verbo no se cambia, en ese caso mi verbo es help, yo te ayudaré el auxiliar es will y el verbo es help, I will help you, dígame Imelda sí. Eh, sí, nosotros igual tuvimos confusión con la, una que decía tomorrow eh, espacio <laughs> a cold sunny day according to the forecast Pensamos que era going to porque era como una predicción, pero en este caso se tomaría como un hecho comprobado. Por eso sería el, el will, porque la respuesta correcta era con will. Ajá. 
fue basado como en una predicción, un forecast del tiempo. Uh -huh. Entonces, como les decía igual ayer, ¿verdad? El forecast del tiempo, si lo veo con Moisés Urbina, voy a usar Will porque no es tan certero. Uh -huh. <ríe> Pero si ya tengo el nubarrón encima, veo que viene de todo el viento y empieza, entonces yo digo, it's going to rain. Porque es seguro, uh -huh. ahí viene, está, hay mucha evidencia. Entonces es mejor okay. usar el going to, pero por eso depende. Uh -huh. Por eso okay, les decía yes. que el will y el going to puede ser flexible. El que no es flexible es el presente continuo para expresar futuro. Entonces el will y el going to puede que, no es que, uy, híjole, malísimo, no entendí el tema. No, eso puede intercambiarse. Puede a veces ser cualquiera de los dos. Dependerá de las circunstancias. El que sí no es negociable es el, el futuro con be going to. Ese sí no es negociable. El perdón, okay. perdón, el continuo, el present continuo. Dígame, Belén. Ahí Moisés le puso un ejemplo en el chat, dicho. Ah, ok. Ahorita lo veo. A veces me descuido del chat. A ver. Uh, tengo. Ah, no es en el de la miren, ¿verdad? No, sí, es en el de la miren, dicho. Solo veo el de Noemí y el de Moisés. We are going to finish the class next week. <laughs> yes, we are going to finish. Ajá. Entonces, en este caso, podemos decirlo con going to porque es un hecho. Así está agendado. A menos que algo extraordinario pase. Ahí está, exacto. Moisés también tiene ese ejemplo. We are going to finish class next week. Esto está calendarizado, está planeado. Entonces es going to. Podríamos usar también el presente continuo para esto. Claro que sí. We are yes. finishing. Ahí sería we are finishing um, the classes next week. Pero podemos usar will para esto? No. Porque no es algo que estamos decidiendo en el momento. No es una predicción. Es, eh, es algo planeado. Entonces para planes o arreglos así agendados. Se puede usar el presente continuo o el be going to. ¿Algo otra duda o pregunta con esto? No, dicho. Excelente. Entonces, por eso le digo, no se sientan mal si es que uh, entonces era, me confundí, era will be going to esos, will. Y be going to puede ser como negociable, vea. Dependiendo de la circunstancia o del mensaje que, y, que queramos transmitir. El que sí no es como para dónde equivocarse es el present continuous. Ese es para eh, planes a futuro cercano. Y debe de llevar la expresión de tiempo. Ese es like mandatory. Tomorrow, next week, this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, etc. Y pues esto es lo que acabamos de hacer. Y aquí making excuses. Con esto vamos a, a seguir reforzando el tema. So, um, enfocado en lo más, lo más común para futuro es will y going to. Be going to. No mucho se ocupa el present continuous, pero es bueno saberlo. Sí se usa de pronto y también está en el manual. Por eso lo incluí en el tema. Y lo vamos a seguir practicando. Ahorita ya veo que hay más personas en la meeting, así que voy a pasar attendance. Este sería el primer chequeo. So, no lo había hecho al principio porque había muy poquitos. Y so, usualmente los viernes es un poco más complicado, ¿verdad? Por tráfico, porque es el último día de la semana, mucho trabajo, etc. Y es semana, pre-semana de cierre, dicho. Yes. <risa> Ok, Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thank you. Benen Batres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mario. Yo quiero estar tarde, yo quiero estar de oyente. Nos, ya vamos a revisar. Um, Carmen René. Carmen René no se ha unido todavía. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Francisco Nehemías. Present, teacher. Thank you. Helen Dionelli. Present, teacher. 
Yes. Thank you. It is Joanna. Present. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Marisela del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Moises Alberto. I am here teacher. Thank you. Noemi Albertina. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present. Okay. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ruben de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you. Judy Araceli. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Jose Rudy. Jose Rudy. Ana Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you. María Angélica. Imelda le escribí en el chat que está ahí, pero tiene un problema con el micrófono. Imelda. Sí. Oh, ok, ok. Gracias. María Angélica. Present. Thank you. Imelda que sí está conectada. Y Susana. Solo no sé si Carlos se conectó. No lo veo. Ah, sí, sí, no, Carlos, sí, ahí está. Solo oyendo. Ok, very good, thank you. Ahorita lo anoto por acá. Ok. Right, so let's continue with the topic. So, uh, well, we have some vocabulary. As you see here, we have some vocabulary about making excuses. Some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. Okay, so we're going to uh, take a look at those excuses. And after that, we are going to practice a conversation. This is in your material, but I'm going to share uh, the program so that we can listen the audio conversation. Okay, so making excuses. Uh, can you read the, the list of the most common excuses that we have here, Belen? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> I'm busy that night. I can't find a babysitter. I'm not feeling well. I have to work then. I have class that night. My parents are visiting from out of town. I need to stay at home with my new puppy. My favorite TV show is on that night. I have to get up early the next morning. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent, Belen. Uh, have you given any of these excuses in order to refuse an invitation? Yes, sir. I need to stay at home with my cat. <laughs> so you need to stay that home with your puppy. Excuse, that is the reality. I'm sorry, but my puppy is sick. <laughs> it's correct, teacher. Okay. No, yeah, but, yeah, about the, 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 about the cat, sorry, about not feeling well. Maybe when I have some problem, a very, very strong problem, I have to gave that excuse because oh, um, but it was because true me, yeah but it's because for me i don't i don't i try to not stop working because in my work it's kind of difficult uh start uh, stop okay but what about it to uh for not accepting an invitation sometimes we lie in uh, yeah. for not accepting an invitation sometimes i say i'm sorry but i can't i have to prepare my classes <laughs> the most the most they are done. Maybe will be i'm busy that's i think that's a, the the common one i'm busy that right now and i need to stay at home 
with my cat and maybe for, uh, my parents I visit in my house oh, because okay. I already live alone so that's a good excuse too <laughs> <laughs> okay good anybody else what are common excuses that you have been uh, or you given uh, to refuse or not accept an invitation volunteers I busy that night. Oh, I you pray. say you're busy that night. Thank you, Juan. I busy Anybody that else? night. Okay. I can't think by she, by she. I know okay. if Okay, thank you. Imelda? No excuse last year is, I'm sorry, I can visit you because I think maybe I can cope, provide. <laughs> 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So I very good. A nice one. Yes. Yeah, so it's a, okay. No worry. No worry. Stay there. <laughs> Stay isolated. That, that's nice. Good. Anybody else? What excuses have you given for not accepting an invitation? Any other volunteer? My parents, I buy busy crying I of town. Okay, so uh, we're going to listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice. Okay, so I'm going to mute and then we're going to just listen and after that we are going to practice. Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. Page 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. Making Plans. Part A. Listen and Practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, now, uh, is there any question about vocabulary in your words? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was not an excuse. <laughs> No, really, right? No, because if it wasn't an excuse, maybe he don't propose a new day for uh, go out. Uh huh. Yes, and it was like not not too late, right? It's a, like not a good excuse. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Bowling is like boliche, right? Boliche. That's bowling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, any other question or comment that you would like to add? What's the meaning of afterward? Afterwards is like más adelante. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Soccer my match. Match es un partido, un juego. Y soccer pues es fútbol. Okay, so we're going to listen again and I'm going to pause the recording so that you can repeat at home. Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. Page 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. Making Plans. Part A. Listen and Practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? 
We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Bien, como pueden ver, aquí se está utilizando el presente continuo. What are you doing tonight? Ahí está la time expression para uh, dejar claro que es un futuro cercano. Uh, what are you doing tonight? Uh, let's see. Y luego tenemos ya el, el otro expresando futuro con el going to. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Okay. Otra vez, la pregunta está utilizando el presente continuo. Uh, are you doing anything tomorrow? Okay. Um, y luego expresamos going to un plan. I'm going to work until five. Okay. So this is the idea to be practicing uh, the structures for the future, estructuras para el futuro. Eh, diferente, ¿verdad? Eh, ahorita pues no tenemos will, solo tenemos presente continuo y eh, be going to. Eh, so, I'm going to stop sharing this one and that conversation is in the presentation I sent over WhatsApp. We're going to get in breakout rooms and practice. Hola. Buenas noches. Mercedes. ¿Qué no puede compartir? ¿Qué puede compartir, Mercedes? Sí, ahorita voy a verificar. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Permítame. Ok. Aquí me gusta que me lleva el culto. Hoy tengo una bota. Ah, sí, me gusta la bota. ¿Se ve? Yes. Ok. No, ¿Algo pan? ahorita no. ¿Algo pando? Se ve? No sé si... Sí, sí, está la, no, creo que así está la imagen. No, está bueno, Yo, sí. Quizás a mí se me movió. Ah, pues se le movió a usted. Pero no se mira, ¿verdad? Sí, se mira. Ahorita está, oh, no se ve borroso. Ahorita sí. sí. Solo, pero no sé por qué lo tengo así. Descuadrado. Está. ¿Cómo lo muevo no aquí? No importa. Ah, ahí, ese es el diseño ahí, de ahí, la ahí, diapositiva. Ahí está bien, ahí está bien. Ahí está bien, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Bueno, más o menos, pero se lee. Sí, se ve. Se ve. ¿De dos en dos? Sí, está bien. Vaya. Somos cuatro, entonces lo dividimos dos en dos. Dos en dos. Va, Yuri, voy con Yuri. Ok, entonces yo con Mercedes. Va, okay. En, en, okay. Inicia Inicien usted. Ustedes, si gustan, Juan, Juan Ricardo. Vaya. Ok. Sí, Miguel. Sí. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Bueno, ¿va a empezar usted o yo? Usted entonces. No, dele, dele, Yuri, dele. Ah, ok. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? 
I love it, but I can't. I go to supper. My wish, my brother. Perdón, ¿quiénes iban a practicar ahorita? Este, Juan Ricardo con Yuri, con Judy y este Mercedes y yo. Mercedes. Ah, Juan Ricardo y Judy empiezan. Ah, okay, that's fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, well, maybe some other time. En Tyson. Ya me acuerdo. Va a empezar donde dice Are you doing anything ah, sí. tomorrow? Are you doing a toy tomorrow? We could go down. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. Surely I round six. Okay, after after work, maybe we can't get some dinner. Second read. Okay, Mercedes, Mercedes, I, I beginning. Comienzo? Oh, okay. Say Miguel, say Miguel, uh, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love you. Hey, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Margarita con el otro compañero. Okay. Margarita. Hola. Empezamos, Margarita. Ok. Ok. Say, Miguel. Say, Miguel. What, you, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tonight. Tonight. Otra Do vez you, todo, Margarita. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Do you want to go, go. Do you bowling? Vaya, otra vez. Do you want to go bowling? Do you want to go bowling? To go bowling. Ese sí es como así, go. To como lo go ves. Bowling. Do you want to? Este suena to. Este es go y este es bowl. bowling. Otra vez. Do you want to go bowling? Do you want to go bowling? Muy bien, Margarita. A ver. I love uh -huh. to, but I can. I going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh well. Oh well. Maybe, maybe some other time. Maybe some other time. Tomorrow sounds fine. Aquí vamos, Margarita. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ay, okay. Tomorrow, Tomorrow sounds, sounds fine. fine. I going to work until until five. I, so let's go around six. Okay. Afterward. Okay. Okay. Afterward. Maybe we can get some some dinner. Empieza usted ahora. Ok. 
Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I going to soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sound great. Okay, Margarita, listen. Um, sounds great. Great. Sounds great. Excellent. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to walk Is it loves to watch? I can. I going to a uh, soccer my why my brother. Oh well, maybe some other time. Oh well, maybe some other time. El siguiente, Margarita. Ay, perdón. Are you going anything tomorrow? We go go them. Tomorrow song five. We're on the five. So let's go along six. Okay. After four, we can get some dinner. So I'm great. Ahora empiezo yo con Helen. Okay. okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can I go to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call it with them. Tomorrow, so fine. I am going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we maybe can get some dinner. I'm great. Sound great. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Uh-huh. It's possible that you can feel like in Salvadoran says, se me lengua la traba in some moments when you're talking in English. Something like you feel like you pronu your pronunciation is very bad or I don't know. <laughs> uh, so you're asking if I have a feel if, like if, that. If, if you think it's possible, have some moments like that yeah, that you think or your sounds yourself and you think I'm I'm not going I'm not pronunciations very well or maybe I'm try to uh, force the pronunciation and it sounds very awful I don't know but it feels like awkward for me if I have felt that before yeah I yes, I have in some uh, some occasions. Yes, I feel like yeah. so. You That's listen, uh, different people pronouncing, and it's uh, oh, they speak very beautiful. <laughs> the pronunciation is awesome, <laughs> uh, and yes, sometimes it's like um, 
Uh, yesterday, I feel like that because uh, I was really busy yesterday, a lot of things to do because uh, on Monday, uh, people in the United States going to celebrate Memorial Day, so it's a holiday. They don't going to work uh, on Monday, so they are rushing to do everything as they can before that day. So we have been a lot of work to do. And I was doing uh, different things like uh, really multitasking and a customer call and um, about that package that was lost. And, and I took the call and told her uh, that, but the package arrived on May the 17th. Oh no, but I have not received anything. Let me let me go and check because I'm on the fourth floor. And then I heard the step like running and she said, no, I haven't received anything. And I really, I really need that coat. So I said, um, okay, let me let that, let us do something. Um go check in the second floor, ask to the receptionist, and if the package is lost, um, call us back again and I'm going to escalate the issue and provide you with the solution. And then she calls back again and say, uh, I, I feel sorry, I didn't find the package. Please help me, I'm a good customer, please help me. <laughs> and I was like, uh, well, yeah, yeah, so, and I started thinking that, yeah, se me trabó la lengua. <laughs> because se me olvidó, cuál era el caso de ella. So I said, uh, eh, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Give me one second and I have to organize my ideas. And I said, okay, no worries. So, we are going to issue a claim for the for the lost package, and then we are going to uh, refund you to your credit card. Let me do the paperwork, and I'm going to email you with a new cell order number. Is that okay for you? And she said yes. But I have to say, uh, excuse me, I have to organize my ideas, <laughs> and I feel so like, oh my god, <laughs> swallow me, earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can imagine, teacher, if if some people can, if that happened with us, that only can talk. Well, if I don't know if you only talk to idioms, but if people that can talk about five idioms, I don't know how handle it, so much information in her mind. That right, yeah. But you can ask them. Um, uh, some people talk really fast, and I say, "Oh my God, I didn't understand a single word." <laughs> So you have said, um, we invent excuses and uh, yes, uh, yes, my says I do. I work in a call center. So um, sometimes I said, ah, you, I'm sorry, you're breaking off. <laughs> it's kind of, cuando decimos, es, you are breaking off. Uh, esta expresión, you're breaking off. Uh, this one, you're breaking off. Es como, le escucho entrecortado. <laughs> Y yo con esa excusa los hago que me repitan más despacio, porque hay gente que sí habla súper rápido, eh, hindús, chinitos, entonces eh, cuesta un poquito. Entonces, para que me hablen más despacio y no quedar en evidencia, les digo, I'm sorry, you're breaking off. Can you repeat that for me, please? Can you spell it out? Um, and yes. Or, yes, also the... <laughs> Eso le iba a preguntar también, teacher. Yes. 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 De so yes, they call and they need assistance. So they call because they have a need of something. So you are free to tell them that you're breaking off or you say, okay, sorry, um, I am having system issues. I'm going to place you in a brief hold. Ya los puedo poner un ratito and hold or decirles, ayer si le dije, ah, sorry, estaba haciendo otra cosa. Déjeme organizar mi idea y ya. But yeah, it was a kind of kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yes, but it's okay. You don't have to feel worried. No, no, no. It's, it's not like something that you need to uh, worry about. Algunas mentales muy largas, dicho. Mm -hmm. Yes, but then you can get the main um, words to get the the whole idea of what they're talking about. So it's 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 okay. It takes like a maybe one month to get used to that. That's not really difficult. <laughs> At the beginning, yeah, it can be, but uh, you get used to. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, welcome. Any other question or comment? Okay, 
So um, we can continue here. Let's see. We already practiced the conversation and yes, uh, here we have the grammar focus is the future with present continuous and be going to. Remember that the main difference is that um, in this is obviously the structure, right? In the present continuous, we have to use the verb be and we have to add ing to the main verb, okay? So, so we add ing to the main verb, as you can see here. You have the verb with ing, doing. So the main verb here is do, and we add doing. ing, okay? And doing. also- That's it, doing. And so you have the verb be is am, is are, and then we add ing to the main verb. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. So, and this is like that. If we are going uh, with going to, remember it has to add be, meaning am, um, is are, plus going to, plus, um, the verb without ing. In this structure, we don't add anything to the verb, okay? Eso es, en present continuous es la misma estructura como en presente progresivo, presente continuo. La diferencia es que sí agregamos una time expression y en la estructura con be going to, nada más eh, el verbo va a ir en, en, en su forma simple. Aquí está do, work y go. Okay, aquí no necesitamos agregarle nada al verbo. Y están acá las time expressions que podemos usar para eh, expresar el futuro. It can be tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week, etc. Uh, this is like a brief review. So I don't know how, if you have any questions here. Uh, so in this case, uh, both. Um, both, <clears throat> sorry, in this case, uh, both are changeable uh, to all the question about what are you doing, people. Os, la pregunta es si podemos usar las dos opciones para la misma pregunta. Yes, uh, it's both options, same question, just the structure is a little different. So pueden usar cualquiera de las dos estructuras para la misma pregunta. Solo va a cambiar que si es con el presente continuo, pues se usa el verbo to be y el verbo principal con ing. Si es okay. con la estructura del going to, vamos a agregar el verbo to be, la frase going to y el verbo no va a llevar ing. Esa es la única diferencia. Puedo preguntar con present continuous o con be going to, con cualquiera de okay. los dos. Uh -huh. Thank you. Excellent. Any other question? Question. Mm -hmm. Pero, este, cuando... Ya me olvidó la pregunta. <laughs> no, me voy a acordar bien, teacher. Perdón. Ok. So, uh, let us complete the... In this, it says in column eight, we are going to use present continuous. And um, then in column B, we are going to use the auxiliary be going to. So in this one, you remember the structure is present continuous here. And part B, the structure is going to. I'll give you some time for you to complete this conversation. Just acuérdense que en la columna van a estar presente continuo. Y en la columna B, going to. Be going to. Be going to. And here, present continuous. You can do that in your notebooks. Why be gone?
Finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, so uh, volunteer for number one, part A. Belen, thank you. What are you doing tonight? Will you like to go out? Excellent. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Very good. Uh, volunteer to answer with part B. Naomi. Okay. I, I am going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Okay. Um, hmm. That should be, ¿cuál hacía match de la 1 con la B? What are you doing tonight? Would you like ah, to okay, go out? Okay, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, a, sorry, I came. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna work in, and I'm gonna, I'm going to work over time tonight. How about tomorrow night? That's correct. Sorry, I can't. I'm going to work over time tonight. What about tomorrow night? Very good. Thank you so much, Naomi. Uh, phone number two, part eight. Okay. We have a private hall for Parkway is Sunday. Would you handle your party? No, no, no. Like... El do de la parte A. Oh, yeah. Dear my father, be sure I'm more brother. I call it work and my mother. I... No, this is part B. Uh, si gusta, denos chancecito con María Angélica. Do you have number two, María Angélica? Part A? Yes. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? That is correct. Thank you so much. Are you doing anything Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Good. Now, what is the answer for this one? Number two. What is the reply? Volunteer? Belen, thank you. I'm not. Um, I think it's sorry, I can't. I'm going to work over. No, 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 sorry. That's the answer for the one. Yeah. Um, I'm working. Oh huh? I'm working overtime tonight. Pero es que esa fue la respuesta de la primera. What are you doing tonight? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, in my opinion, it would be Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college by my mother uh -huh. and I. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's letter D. Can we go to a late show? I'm going to stay at the office till 7 p.m. Aha, uh -huh. I'm going okay. to stay at the office till 7. Good. Um, let's see, number three, volunteer. Number three, part A. Andrea, thank you. Okay, we are um, we are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Excellent, we are having, very good. Thank you so much, Andrea. And the reply on part B? Will you start? I want Imelda? 
Levantó la mano, Imelda, gracias. Uh, I think it's letter B. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. We love to come. Aha, uh -huh. my father is going to visit. Aha, uh -huh. my mother and I are going to be at home. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Imelda. And the last one for number four, part A, volunteer. Juan Ricardo. Will you stay a one niche a weekend or do you want to Ahí no way? íbamos a usar will, Juan Ricardo. Era okay. presente continuo. ¿Alguien tiene la cuatro? O going. No, present continuo. Ay, perdón, sí. Imelda, thank you. Um, sorry, no lo había notado. Eh, do you? No, no, do. No, no es do. No, <laughs> sorry. Present continuous. Are you oh, going to alguien stay? Más. Are in you? Town uh -huh. Next weekend. Excellent. Do you Are want you? to go for a hike? Excellent. Are you staying? Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? And the reply to this one? Is letter A, part B. Rafael? I am here on Saturday. Mm, la parte vera con going to Rafael. I'm going to here on Saturday. I'm going But to. Not, I'm going to here on mm, Saturday. Y el verbo. I'm going to. Andrea. Are going to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be mm -hmm. here on Saturday. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right. So these are like short conversation. Then we're going to do an exercise with this one. So just to have some more vocabulary about um, maybe group activities or activities that we can do with a group of people that can be friends or family. And we have here. Barbecue, baseball game, beach baseball party, game, beach party, um, bicycle race, birthday party, dance performance, picnic, play, rock concert, singing contest, tennis match, volleyball tournament. Any question about vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Uh, what is the meaning of singing con contest? A contest is a concurso, una competencia, un concurso se le dice contest. Entonces sería un concurso de canto, singing contest. Gracias. You're welcome. Yeah. Repeat, please, volley, volleyball turn. Volleyball, volleyball tournament. Thank you. It's like torneo. Ajá, uh -huh, es un torneo de volleyball. Moisés? What is meaning barbecue? Barbecue, una barbacoa. Oh. Un asadito, decimos nosotros. Un asado. <laughs> A barbecue, una barbacoa. Um, Carne asada. Any other question? Not teacher. 
Okay, so let's um, place this vocabulary into three categories. We have to divide them into spectator sports, friendly gatherings, and live performances. Are the categories yeah, clear? The last question. What mm -hmm. is the meaning of gatherings? Uh, gatherings son reuniones. Okay. Uh -huh. Reuniones a mis tazas o amigables, agrupamientos con amigos. So, gathering is get together in a meeting. Okay. Reuniones. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, so uh, for example, um, barbecue. In which of these three categories would you place barbecue? Friendly, friendly gatherings. Friendly, friendly gatherings. gatherings. Uh-huh. So here, barbecue. You can do that in your notebooks. Barbecues. I buy BC rice.
Okay, let's raise your hands. Volunteers for uh, the category of spectator sports. Belen, thank you. Belen. Belen, are you mute? Yeah, I think you're in mute. Okay, um, maybe Moises? Spectator sports, what do you have? Uh, for example, baseball game. Um, baseball game, what else? Uh, bicycle race. Uh huh, bicycle race. Volleyball Torn tournament. tournament. Volleyball tournament. tournament. Mm -hmm. And tennis. Yeah. I uh, see. Yes. Tennis. Tennis. Much. Much. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Noemi, friendly gatherings. Okay. It's barbecue. Mm -hmm. They um, it's, um, picnic. Picnic. Play. Mm. Birthday party. Birthday party. Uh -huh. Birthday party. Only this. Okay. Uh, just play. Uh, play no idea. Must be maybe beach party. Yes. And uh, let's see. I have Judy for live performances. For me is bicycle race. Um, dance performance. Uh, dance performance. Yes. Uh -huh. But a bicycle oh, race, it is yeah, a spectator sport. Okay. Rock concert? A rock concert, yes. And singing contest? Singing contest, yes. Y ahí también tienen que poner play. play. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es un play? Un juego. Un mm. juego. Y juego. si no es. Like uh, play the piano. Ajá, un play es más. Si el verbo como verbo es jugar, pero jugar qué, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí está como un noun, como un live performance. Para live performance, un play es como una puesta en escena, puede ser un teatro. Ese es un play. Uh -huh. Okay, um, now. I'm sorry, teacher, my battery was off. Oh, yes, <laughs> we realize it. So, um, thank you so much for letting us know. So, what are you going to do with this vocabulary? You're going to invite someone to one of these um, activities. So, you can ask, para la pregunta, Van a invitar usando present continuous y luego en part B tienen que inventarse una excusa. Si es una excusa, a uh, sorry, empezamos con disculpándonos y decir sorry, I can't. I'm going to um, take my rabbit to the grooming, for example. <laughs> Voy a llevar a mi conejo a que lo peinen, no sé, cualquier excusa ahí. Eh, o oh, si no, pues ese, um, yes, I'm going to be here that day, so no problem, we can go and have a, a lunch or something, okay? So remember, you ask someone uh, to go out to, or you invite someone, use present continuous, and then uh, if you accept or refuse, you can use going to, okay? Is that clear? Van a ser como pequeñas conversaciones, así como estas que tienen acá, invitando a sus compañeros a cualquiera de estas cosas. A alguna barbacoa, a alguna fiesta, a algún concierto, etc. Okay? And 
And part B, yes, ya usted contesta utilizando be going to. Y qué es lo que va a estar haciendo, o si lo va a dejar para otro día, o si le va a dar una excusa, ustedes deciden. Son pequeñas conversaciones. ¿Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to create the breakout room so that you can work on this. invitación a um, por ejemplo birthday party ajá uh -huh. or or um, picnic ¿cuál escogemos? o oh, el asadito ajá <risa> uh -huh. Sí. Puede ser el, el asado, ¿verdad? Con los compañeros. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces podemos decir, yo creo que Mercedes este solo está de oyente, ¿verdad? Hace rato estaba practicando con nosotros. Ah. Hey, sorry, perdón. Dame un momento. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. ¿Vino Iris también? ¿Vino Iris? Yes, thank you. Are you decir este, what are, sí, what are you going Ajá, to tonight? Ser. Puede ser igual que el ejemplo que tenemos. Ajá. What are you doing? What are you doing tonight? Oh. Tonight, tonight, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Ajá, Ajá, como la primera. Pero el asado lo haríamos en la noche. Mm, no fue tan mejor que lo hiciéramos en el sábado, ¿verdad? <risa> on, on sun, on Saturday. In the afternoon. Ajá. También la carne a cualquier hora, menos en el desayuno, creo. <risa> Aún Ay, en el desayuno, en algunos lugares. En Yo o sea, sí, en la cena. Next tarde. Yo voy a poner. Bueno, sale por otro lado. Next. Así, miren, next tarde. Y aquí le voy a decir, ¿verdad? Que estamos. We are hearing. Eh, hearing es como preparar este. Ah, no, hearing, ¿verdad?
for a barbecue. Barbecue. Ya se durmió. Debería de ir a dormir también. Would you, would you, este, aquí, bueno, para, para, le podemos decir, porque aquí le decía que es su pariente, ¿verdad? Pues, pero podemos decirle otra cosa, ¿verdad? Solo podrían ser sus amigos. Sus amigos, ajá. Uh -huh. Así. Like, um, ajá, así como, así estaba un ejemplo, parece. Va, entonces, este, y vamos a contestarle. Ah, pero tenemos que decir algo, por ejemplo, sorry, I can Ajá, para y lo demás. Para ajá, respuesta. porque, ajá. Vaya. Y le decimos. O le podemos decir que va a trabajar hasta tarde también, ¿verdad? Tenemos este varias lavador. opciones. Ajá. Este, o es que como lo están invitando para el sábado. Ajá, sí pero. Puede, ajá, eh, puede ajá. Que puede. Ah, que van a trabajar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Puede decir que sí, yes, I like. Ajá, que le gustaría. Ajá. Ah, pero ya no sería eso. Yo entendí que dijo que como una disculpa. Así. La ticha, no sé si me confundí. Sorry, we can't. Ah, oh, podemos poner... Mm, because, puedo poner because. Yo creo que aquí es coma, ¿verdad? Sí, sorry, we can't. Because I. We. Going to... We. We are. Oh, we. we are going to. to work. Oh. Eh, sería esta tarde. Next Saturday. O oh, in the overtime. Así, ¿verdad? No. All day. All day. All day. All day. All day. Hey, uh -huh. Y después le, 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 le podemos decir, pero el domingo sí podríamos. Let's try. Usamos. Go on Sunday, por ejemplo. Trataremos de ir el domingo, ¿o no? No. No, porque, no porque como la invitación es para sábado, a no ser que le diga que lo puedan reprogramar, no sé. Para el siguiente sábado. Ajá. Uh -huh. A ver cómo era. ¿Cómo le podemos poner ahí? Quieren poner que para el siguiente sábado, como we call the next Saturday, ajá, como nosotros podríamos el próximo sábado, ya, yeah. ajá. We cool. We could. We 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 will come. <laughs> we could. C O U L D. 
Cool. Así. No, con C. The letter C. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah. The next Saturday. O the next weekend. Ajá. Saturday. Sería este el siguiente sábado. Ajá. El siguiente. Sí, the next Saturday. Ajá, the next. Oh. Lo que pasa es que aquí, como aquí estamos hablando de next Saturday. Y si quisiéramos poner, podríamos uh, mejor el fin de semana. Otro el día. Fin de semana. O oh, other weekend. O oh, arriba puede ser, because we are going to work Saturday. Saturday or Saturday all day. Y abajo usamos next. Así, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, para no repetir el vocabulario. Ajá, para no repetir el next. We could. We could. Ahí terminamos solo una, ¿verdad? Hacemos otro. Y este cut eh, no iría con otro, con un verbo. Es que cut es este de los mo verbos modales, es ellos, pero que van por sí solos, si no me equivoco. But we could go. No, porque ahí le pod nosotros podríamos. Mm. Uh, meet you, siempre después de un modal tiene que poner el verbo. Ah, uh, ok. Could go. Uh -huh. we, could, we could go or we can meet you. We, can, we could meet. De, podríamos vernos. We could meet. Meet. Ajá. Uh -huh. M-E-E-T. Uh -huh. We could meet the next Saturday. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ya, ok. Pues sí. <ríe> ya le estamos hallando. Pues podemos hacer otro, compañeras. compañeras. Sí. Este, uno, digamos, que qué va a hacer esta noche. ¿Qué What are you doing tonight? Mm -hmm. What are you doing, verdad? Tonight. Ajá, y podemos hacer, poner una de la, de la um, tonta. ¿Qué? <laughs> la de la película. <laughs> <risa> a un concierto que como dijo que utilizáramos los uh, the road concert de, ver, Ajá, de lo que están ahí por ejemplo si le gustaría ir por ejemplo a un a un concierto a la playa <risa> Así la no, porque es esta noche, no, de noche? ¿Eh? yo ya me he ido de noche a la playa <risa> <risa> No, pues puede, puede ser a un concierto de rock o a un singing contest. Como en going rock concert, to rock concert. concert. Go to rock concert. Y siempre la respuesta sería como, lo siento, o no puedo, ¿verdad? Eh. 
no necesariamente, creo, o sí. Ah, sí creo sí, que sí, el ejemplo así estaba, los ejemplos así estaban. ¿no? Y podíamos decir que sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, sí, se puede decir. Sí, me gustaría, ¿verdad? ¿Ah? Yes, I... Ahí puede I... decir que podríamos poner can we go to late y podemos poner una hora. Ah, sí, es que aquí me nos faltó a, a qué hora, ¿verdad? Ah, pero tenemos que responder con el, con la otra forma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En el going, going to. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces podría ser yes. Eh. Oh, we are missing many people from breakout rooms. So we're just going to wait for them. Oh, most of them have not finished. <laughs> did you do something? A couple of examples at least, one or two. How many examples did you do? One, two, um, how many examples two. did you do? Two examples. Two examples. Okay, that's, that's something. <laughs> Most of the people doesn't want to come in. We are asleep, did <laughs> <laughs> How many examples do you do? Two examples. Two examples. Oh, that's okay. I don't know if it is. Um... Oh my God, this is sad stuck again. Okay. Um. I see it very good. Some of you wrote some examples in the chat. Um, we sent an art partner into class, so I'm going to be here late. Okay, so I'm sure you did a couple of examples and that's okay. How many examples did you finish? One or two? Two examples. Two examples, that's okay. Exactly. All right, so we can check them on Monday. Uh, in the meantime, before we leave, I just wanted to make sure I have all the people who were here in the meeting, but I is not all right. I need to do so. Give me one second. Okay, uh, let's see. I just need to know if Carmen Rene, were you here? Creo que no. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay, thank I'm you. I'm so sorry, I have a problem with my network connection. Okay, no worries. Jose Rudy. Yeah, but I'm here. Nice. Jose Rudy. Creo que él sí no se conectó. Y los demás, pues sí. Solamente me quedaba Carmen René, que creo que sí no se conectó ahora toda la sesión. And that would be it. So thank you so much for joining. I hope that you have a good weekend and see you on Monday. Uh, I have a question, yeah. teacher. Yes, Juan. Um, what, about, what about the, um, the homework, the platform? Oh, you need to have it finished. Ya lo terminamos, la, la plataforma. Ayer estuvimos avanzando con el examen. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Haven't you uh, finished? I think so. <laughs> I don't know if you can check today or until tomorrow. No, to check your progress? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to update it and during the weekend. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, appreciate it. You're welcome. Any other question before we leave? No, teacher, only that. Okay, sure. Have uh, have a, Thank you. You do the same. Have a good night and see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. See you Monday. Have a good Thank weekend. You. Monday. Bye. Happy weekend. Happy Good night. Bendiciones a todas y a todas.